Hey guys, Steph and Kathy are back and apparently I have a fascination with these creepy trees. So I've come up with a different way to do the actual tree trunk without the concrete filler, the cardboard cylinder that you guys would buy, but if that works great too. So I'm actually gonna do that without. So we're gonna use the pool noodles again, the sharp knife, be careful. I'm gonna use zip ties instead. And this has worked out perfect in my house with the heat gun to give a little texture. You do have to be a little more careful because we're not gonna cut completely through the pool noodle. We do not want them to separate. So what I've done here already is I only cut one side of the pool noodle. So what I'm gonna do next is go through to the other side, but I'm not gonna completely cut through it. I still want it to be attached because when I bend these out and melt them, we're gonna zip tie those to the other pieces. So you're scoring it. I am scoring it, yes. So then these actually stay together very well. And I just keep going until I'm happy, but I don't want them to completely separate and, and they will stay together. And then I'll just flip it over and I do the same thing from this side and just spread it out. And then you can even go a little backwards here just to separate it enough. And that'll give you a little bit more flat, rounded kind of look to it. So then again, as we've done before with the vines, the pool noodles, um, the branches, we just score them lightly to give them a little texture like a tree. And like I said, this one, you're not gonna heat it quite as much. You just wanna kind of make it not look like a pool noodle anymore and get those scoring lines to look like tree bark. Okay, so then we're gonna heat gun this. And again, like I said, we're just gonna do this very lightly. Just do it a little bit at a time, just so you don't separate them in half. So you're kind of separating the little score line. Yeah. A little more texture, a little bit more reality like a tree trunk. But again, this is super simple. It's quick. No problems with this. And again, you're not going to do too much. And that's about all I'm going to do with that. So as you can see, it's a little warm yet, and that's perfectly fine. So this here is the first two pieces I put together. This is actually two pool noodles put together. So then I am going to actually add this third piece. I'm going to use three zip ties. Now I'm using the larger zip ties only because the smaller ones tend to slip through and that could get a little frustrating, but you can get through here pretty easily. Like I said, pretty easily. There we go. And then just be very gentle when you come through them and pulling it tight. You wanna make sure your little knot is up here and then spin it around so it doesn't, it, it could break through, which I've done many a times. And then we'll go ahead and clip that off. And then I'm gonna go about halfway up And you're only going down slightly on the side because if you, you go through the side here, you're really not going to see them and you don't see that connection between the pool noodles, which makes it look even better. Like I said, just spin that around, get it tight. Clip that off. We got one more to go. And then these... <laughs> Actually, you know, we've had many different types of tree trunks with the concrete cylinders. We did the one up the bookcase. Now we have this one that I have setting in the corner of my house, which is unbelievable. It's got a little more of a creepy vibe to it. Um, sharper edges, which we're gonna show you how to do the limbs here in a second. So I use three. 
And let me just give you an example over here in the corner how you can do this. And then I use command strips over here from the dollar store. I put a little zip tie there and you can hook them and they will stand right in the corner for you. So what I would do going up, however, if you want to make it thinner, cut half a pool noodle off and just keep going up to your ceiling. But that is a really simple way to bring this indoors for you. And I am just going to, if it wants to stand, I'll leave that there, but I got air on, so. Okay. So now we're going back to the original pool noodles and the branches. Take one, split it in half. Now for me, I found that if we do more blunt, not as long, they don't get as wavy. They are more sturdy. So what I wanna do is start down here. I'm just gonna make one cut there. We'll come up here. And then at the top, we're gonna just angle this down and we're gonna cut it off right there. So we're gonna just make this the last piece. And I like to blunt them off so they're not pointed. And then we'll do the same thing. We're gonna score it a little bit and we're not gonna heat it to where it's gonna melt and be curvy or uh, we just want a little separation from the actual tree to that. So again, I am going to use just my glasses and they're not gonna burst. We're not putting high heat on them. We're just kind of getting a little separation here. So then again, we'll just heat this a little bit. And you want to melt it down smaller, thinner, you can do that. But again, like I said, I don't want it to be too flimsy, I guess that's what I want to say. So then we have a branch that's a little irregular, but it's got that little, I think it's creepier and sharper. So we are going to venture out into the living room where I have my tree set up. And you'll get a tour of the dining room, which is our spider room. Sneak peek. All right, so here I have it at the corner of my steps. For this one, I have actually five here. So whatever works for you. And then I actually come up and I put the second set on. I use the, the zip ties here to hold that together. You cover it with Spanish moss. You're not even gonna see these things. And you just keep going to the ceiling. You can start with the shorter pieces up top of your branches and you can keep expanding out as much as you want. So my goal here is to have these out we have the Spanish tree over there. And then we have one more tree to go. And yeah, we got lots of stuff in here. If you see all my stuff, we have a lot to work on. But guys, this is amazing. You have no Definitely. idea how amazing this is to bring into your home. Now I will tell you up top on the ceiling, I have the small command strips that I use a small zip tie to make a hook and just hook it on the ceiling. Those come off very easily. Had no issues getting off with taking paint off. So again, guys, this is amazing. And if you, I mean, I'm on I'm Taylor Lynn with the L-L-Y-N-N-E on Facebook. If you wanna PM me, if you have any questions, this is really cool. So again, we'll be back with more videos.